This qualifying recap brought to you by Philips Connect, technology that moves us forward. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right, Lang's well, got a chance to take two to Sunday. There is one more round of Super Comp tonight. Langdon shut off right off the mark. How about Mike Salinas goes to the top? 3.767, 327 miles an hour. And Rob, I don't know what you've been waiting for, but that sure looked good. Langdon gets bumped down one when Salinas goes around him, goes 958.73. Robert Hyde on the left side, Matt Higgins, two harvest dodge in the right. How about a 397 for Robert, 310 miles an hour, and AAA goes to the top. He definitely wounded that thing down there. He was kind of sliding around in his own slickery stuff. Matt Hagen goes 417, 235 miles an hour. Now, for Robert, didn't see a big boom, big pop, big anything. But I don't think there's any question that that thing wounded itself right down there in the finish line. He's got it to a safe stop. You can see Robert climbing out of the top of it with the AAA Chevrolet. Just Congratulations, Richie and Jill. Hope all are healthy and happy. Oh, man. Ooh, that hurt all the way up here. 663 for Aaron Stanfield. Now look at the elite guys. 206 miles an hour. Derek Kramer goes 1261 at 68 miles. That thing was still shaking in third gear, it looked like. Oh, man, was that violent. But Aaron Stanfield rockets his way to the number one spot. Again, .983 to 60 foot. Exactly what Camry did. And Aaron Stanfield takes oh, this is really both of them left their heart right here. And Joe's got a good run goal. And here down top of the race cycle. 696, 185 for Angel, 6.966, 185, underdog goes 7008 at 190.73 miles an hour, and that'll put Angel right now in the number one qualifying spot. Justin Ashley's out of the throttle at 3.7, 9. One, 317, 79 the speed. And Steve Torrance takes them Capco boys to the top by speed. Identical elapsed time to Josh Hart to the thousandth of a second. The tiebreaker is speed. Josh was 3.16 or 316 miles an hour. Yeah, it really was. I mean, everything went, uh, as a whole, it went very good for us. Uh, we made some mistakes first round that we were able to identify immediately. Uh, knew what the problem was, so to come here and come straight out of the trailer and have a good solid run right there, uh, especially with the cars that were going down in front of us and not really running good times and not making it down the track. So uh, that's that was a, a good run for us to get the ball rolling, to give us some momentum going into race day. Uh, tomorrow will be a totally different track condition, I'm sure. Robert Hyde on the left side, Matt Higgins, two harvest dodge in the right. How about a 397 for Robert, 310 miles an hour, and AAA goes to the top. He definitely wounded that thing down there. He was kind of sliding around in his own slickery stuff. We were the only one to make a three-second run. Were you guys pretty pleased just to, to make a relatively full pull down there? Yeah, you know, uh, Jimmy Jimmy saw what was going on, and he, he made up a lot of adjustments. Uh, but we honestly thought it would run a little better than that. It, it did hit a bump down there and it put a cylinder out and then it started spinning and I had to drive it a lot. So uh, that, just so everybody knows, 397 is not going to hold no matter what. Tomorrow, a lot of a lot more cars are going to run and the track's going to get better. You know, basically after the rain we had today, they basically got to start over, you know. So it was a, kind of a green racetrack and funny cars were the first out. So uh, tomorrow's a new day. There'll be a full day of, of race cars running down the track and by the time it gets to the nitro cars, the track will be a lot better, more normal. And uh, I think uh, you could run low 390s tomorrow.
Anderson goes number one. Uh, you couldn't ask for anything better to, to open up Friday, right? Yeah, about uh, 1,319 feet, feet better than the last first attempt I made at qualifying at Epping. So definitely a much better start. And, and as I said, you, you have to get that data. You, you can't lose runs out here. You got to get that data. It's, it's so important. And you got to make quality runs to get quality data. So that was a quality run, without a doubt. And, and uh, as I said, we after the, the, the problems that we started out with that in Epping, we gained on each run, and we, and we were a serious car on Sunday. Just needed maybe one more round to get it right and get it perfect, and, and it carried over into here. So it's uh, it's encouraging. We, we, we've been working awful hard, and uh, yes, we got off to a slow start, but we're coming. We're, we're, we're back, and I think we're we're, we're very close to to finding our way to the winner's circle again. So I think I'm a, a serious threat again. And, and you know, last year was a unique year. It's like every every racetrack I rolled through the gates, you felt like you had a great chance to win the event. And, and I haven't quite had that feeling yet this season. Six ninety six, hundred eighty five for Angels. The holds it would be your second number one this year. Uh, more importantly, it would uh, keep you rolling right along here at, at Bristol. Uh, how cool is it to uh, win a race last year, the first time ever for the bikes here, and then come right back and, and go to number one second year here? It's very cool. I um, was very excited to come back to this track. Uh, I'm going to admit that at the last race, I was pretty bummed. You know, I, I blew the race and just started getting really down on myself and then I started remembering um, what kind of time I had here in Bristol last year. And, and I don't mean like with the winning, I mean like I personally was struggling yeah. here last year. I was afraid of the racetrack, things just weren't going well for me and I ended up winning it. So it kind of taught me a lesson of how not to really worry about things. You know, there's really, you can't control certain things and I was worried about too many things and I was worried about winning the race and at the last race, I was just worried about winning, and I, I realized that I have to just stop and enjoy the ride. And I've said this a million times, but I think I'm going to finally start listening to myself. So I was so excited to get to this truck racetrack because I won last year, and I wanted to try it again. Um, I was really shocked, though, that that was a number one qualifier run. It was very bumpy. Uh, I didn't go straight. I was going to the center line. I rolled off before the finish line. I figured, oh well, there goes you know a decent run there. I blew that. Don't know where I'm going to end up. Competition Plus is your go-to source for the latest in drag racing news. For over 20 years, CompetitionPlus.com has provided news you can trust, thoroughly researched and delivered as quick and fast as it can be uploaded. Whether it's nitro or stock, drag radial or pro modified, our riders are trained to bring you the inside story time and time again. We have it all from in-depth news articles to the latest in high performance products to the scuttlebutt making its way around the pits. Original video content from the stars in drag racing also makes Competition CompetitionPlus.com, the ultimate one-stop shop for die-hard drag racing fans. Don't make CompetitionPlus.com your only stop on the information superhighway. Make it your first. For news you can trust and have trusted for 20 years, visit CompetitionPlus.com. Be sure to download our mobile app. It's a free download on the Apple Store and Google Play.